What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space and today's video is just to tell you a little bit about a competition I'm going to be running on the channel over the next month with some very cool prizes sponsored by Keen themselves. So the idea behind this is to try and encourage you guys to get into Space Engineers, show me your creativity and also have a think about what's going to happen with Space Engineers in the future. Particularly after the recent blog post from Marek, which I've linked below, talking about planets. So this competition is going to be all about designing something for use on planets when they arrive. Now fortunately, with that recent blog post from Marek, we've got a really good idea of what exactly it is we're going to expect in planets. And so the challenge with this competition is for you guys to build something aimed at being used on a planet when it arrives, or perhaps being used to get down to a planet. I want to keep things pretty open and leave it down to your creativity as to what exactly you build. But some examples would be perhaps a planetary base, some sort of ground vehicle for use on a planet where the gravity is present, or perhaps a vehicle for going in and out of a planet's atmosphere. Now we know that atmospheres are something they really hope to do. Now the competition is going to be judged on six different categories, kind of four subcategories and then two grand prizes, and they will be what dictates how limited you are in your builds. So the four subcategories for judging are going to be the best idea, the best concept, the guy who comes up with the most interesting thinking regarding what could be useful on a planet, we're going to have the best functionality, so whatever does the coolest thing has the best function when it comes to being planet related. We have the best aesthetic, the one that looks the coolest, because this has got to cover all bits of creativity. And then finally, the best use of programming, to try and give you guys who are doing programming and scripts kind of your chance to shine without it being a bit unfair on everyone else who can't program and thus doesn't have quite so many options as some of the other people. And then finally there will be two grand prizes in the categories of best modded ship and best non-modded ship. As you guys know I like to keep my designs vanilla and I totally respect people who like to use mods and vice versa I totally respect that if you're keeping things vanilla like I do it is perhaps a bit unfair to be judged alongside people using mods and people using scripts. So I've tried to keep things nice and separate, give everybody a chance to show what they can do, show how creative they can be and at the same time not feel like someone else has got a bit of an unfair advantage. And now for the interesting bit, how do you guys take part and what are you going to win if you win? So what I would like people to do is submit their designs, have a good think about it and give you plenty of time to work on it, whatever it is you want to build. And so the deadline for the final submissions will be the end of May, the 31st of May at midnight UTC. So a whole month basically to go and work on your designs. And I would like you to submit your designs as a world uploaded to the workshop. And that's important. It needs to be a world and not a blueprint so that I don't have to download all the mods. And then once you've uploaded it to the workshop, there's an email address down below in the video description. Send your whatever it is, whatever cool creation you've come up with to that email address alongside a really brief description of what exactly it is and whether or not it's using mods, whether or not it's using scripts. So I know which category to put you in. Then at the end of that month, we'll probably have a few showcase videos where I put forward the, sort of the, the hot list, the last few contenders, and then let you guys vote on who is going to be the grand prize winners. So the guys who win the best modded, best non-modded is going to be down to you lot. I will be picking a short list and I will be deciding the subcategory winners, but it'll be you guys who decide who the big winners are and who it is that gets those grand prizes. And speaking of the prizes, what we have is for all of those subcategory winners, so anybody who wins one of the best concept, best functionality, best aesthetic or best use of scripts, you guys will get either a copy of Space Engineers or a copy of Medieval Engineers, whichever one you wish. The chances are you've probably already got Space Engineers because you're taking part in this, so Medieval Engineers is an option, or if you've already got both, why not give it to a friend, something like that. And then for the two grand prizes, we've got something a little bit more special. I have a couple of $100 vouchers for the Space Engineers print site. Again, the link's down for them below. What they will do is take a model of your ship, something you've made, you can export it from Space Engineers, and then they will print it out as a physical little ship, little model for you to have on your desk. They are really, really cool. I've seen them myself, first person down at Insomnia a couple of weeks ago. Really cool little things to have, especially as they're something that you've made rather than something that could be anything from the game. As far as how the voting procedure is going to work, I will do an update video as we go and once I've got a short list of exactly who it is that's going to be in that vote, but still keep an eye out for information as we get nearer the end of the competition because I'll be putting all that stuff up in an update video 
give an idea of who the shortlisted contenders are and also how that final voting procedure is going to work. And until then, good luck with your builds. I hope you enjoy taking part. Good luck trying to win one of our very, very cool prizes. And thank you very much to Keen Software House for sponsoring those prizes for me. And otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will catch you next time. Thank <music> you.